diagram z is a function of x and y x and y both is a function of s and t so we have a here del z by del x and del z by del y and we have a this t diagram similarly we can calculate del z by del t also now we consider the general situation in which our independent dependent variable u is a function of an independent variables then x1 to xn each of this is in turn a function of m independent variables t1 t2 dot dot up to tm we notice that there are n terms one for each intermediate values so we have a x1 to xn are intermediate variables so here we are taking four variables suppose w is a function of x y z and t x is a function of u and v y is a function of also u and v z is a function of u and v t is also function of u and v with the add of this three diag three diagram we can not we can now write the required expansion is del w by del u is equal to del w by del x into del x by del u plus del w by del y into del y by del u plus del w by del z into del z by del u plus del w by del t into del t by del u so similarly we have del w by del v is equal to del w by del x del x by del v del w by del y del y by del v del w by del z del z by del v plus del w by del t into del w del t by del v so we have a uh, this for four variables similarly we can expand for the n variables let us see example from our gtu paper for this chain rule so gtu gen 2009 and gen 2010 we have this example on the paper that suppose that u is equal to f of x y z and x is equal to g1 of t y is equal to g2 of t z equal to g3 of t then write the chain rule for the derivative of u with respect to t express del w by del r and del w by del s in the term of r and s W is equal to x plus y, 2y plus z square, where x is a r by s, y is a r square plus log s, and z is equal to 2r. Solution. The required chain rule is: del du by dt is del u by del x into dx by dt. Plus del u by del y to dy by dt, del u by del z into dz by dt. Here we have a w is a function of x, y, and z. We have a x also. X, y, and z is a function of r and s. So we already seen the what is a t diagram. Before that formula, we have a that tree diagram we can make this formula also that del w by del r is equal to del w by del x del x by del r plus del w by del y del y by del r plus del w by del z into del z by del r so here the derivative of w with respect to x is a 1 del w del x by del r derivative of x with respect to r 
so we have x is equal to r by s so derivative of r is 1 upon s is as it is plus derivative of w with respect to y so 0 plus 2 into 1 plus 0 now del y by del r is a 2r derivative of log x is 0 plus the derivative of w with respect to z 0 plus 0 plus 2 z into derivative of z with respect to r is a 2. So, we can multiply this and we have a the answer is 1 by s plus 4 r plus 4 z. So, del w by del s similarly we can find this and taking the derivative here. So, del w by del x is a 1 del x by del s derivative of 1 by s is a minus 1 upon s square. So, minus r upon s square plus del w by del y is a 2 and del y by del s is a 1 by s plus del w by del z is a 2 z into del z by del s is a 0. So, 2 by s minus r by s square. So, we have uh, this answer. So, now we are taking the example that GTU March 2009. The question is u is equal to f of x minus y comma y minus z and z minus x show that del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z is equal to 0. So, taking u is f of x minus y comma y minus z comma z minus x. Let us consider that first value x minus y is a r second one is a s y minus z and the third one is a t z minus x then u is equal to f of r s and t so del u by del x is a del f by del r into del r by del x plus del f by del s into del s by del x plus del f by del t into del t by del x. So, del f by del r as it is derivative of r with respect to x is a 1 del f by del s into del x by del x is 0 because yes, having no term of x del f by del t as it is into the derivative of t with respect to x is a minus 1. So, the answer is del f by del r minus del f by del t. Del u by del y is equal to del f by del r into del r by del y plus del f by del s into del s by del y plus del f by del t into del t by del y. So, del f by del r as it is into minus 1 plus del f by del s into 1 plus del f by del t into 0. So, we have a minus del f by del r plus del f by del s. Similarly, we can find del u by del z. So, del f by del r into del r by del z plus del f by del x into del s by del z plus del f by del t into del t by del z. So, del f by del r into the 0 plus del f by del s into minus 1 plus del f by del t into 1. So, we have uh, this answer minus del f by del s plus del f by del t. Adding these three terms, we can see this is in a plus minus form. So, all are the cancel and the answer is 0 that we want to prove. So, this is the example of our chain rule.
Now let us see the another example of the chain rule. The GTU March 2009. Suppose u is equal to f of x square plus 2yz comma y square plus 2xz. Prove that y square minus zx into del u by del x plus x square minus yz del u by del y plus z square minus xz del u by del z equal to 0. Start with the solution that u is equal to f of our x square plus 2yz comma y square plus 2zx. Let us consider the first term is a r and the second term is a t. So, u is a function of r and t. So, take the derivative of del u by del x is a del u by del r into del r by del x plus del u by del t into del t by del s. So, del u by del r into 2x, the derivative of r with respect to x. So, x square ka derivative we have a 2s and del u by del t into the derivative of t with respect to z. So, y square ka derivative 0 plus 2 as it is z as it is derivative of x is 1. So, we have a this. Now, we also want del u by del y. So, del u by del y is a del u by del r into del r by del y plus del u by del t into del t by del y is equal to del u by del r into 2z plus del u by del t into 2y by taking the derivative. Similarly, we can find del u by del z del u by del r into del r by del z plus del u by del t into del t by del z is equal to del u by del r into 2y plus del u by del t into 2z. Take our LHS that is a y square minus zx into del u by del x plus x square minus yz into del u by del y plus z square minus zxy del u by del z. So, substitute the value which we find the above. Substitute all that value. So, taking 2 outside a y square minus z x into x del u by del r plus z del u by del t plus 2 outside x square minus y z z del u by del r plus y del u by del t plus 2 outside z square minus x y y into del u by del r plus x del u by del t. Now, in the next step, we will take del u by del r common. 2 is also common outside. So, when we are taking del u by del r outside, we have a this term that x y square minus z x plus z x square minus y z plus y z square minus x y. In the second part, take del u by del t is common. So, have z y square minus z x plus y x square minus y z plus x z square minus x y. So, we can simplify this and we can see that that all term of addition of that we have a 0. So, 0 del u by del r plus 0 del u by del t is equal to twice times 0 is a 0. So, that are the examples of chain rule. Now, we have a another topic in a partial derivative is, a, derivative is a homogeneous function. So, first we will define what is a homogeneous function and let us see the how to take the derivative on that homogeneous function by using our Euler theorem and then modified Euler theorem which is very important part of our partial derivative and uh, frequently asked in a paper that what is the Euler theorem, 
statement and examples in our GTU paper. So, let us start with the homogeneous function. <coughs> homogeneous function definition a function u is equal to f of x y is said to be homogeneous of degree n if it can be expressed in the form x is to n g of y by x or y is to n g of x by y where g being any arbitrary function then homogeneous function for the three variables if a function u is equal to f of x y z is said to be homogeneous of degree n if it can be expressed in the form that x is to n g of y by x comma z by x or y is to n into g of x by y comma y by z sorry z by y or z is to n g of x by z comma y by z. So, Euler's theorem for this homogeneous function. So, let us see what is our homogeneous function. If u equal to f of x y is a homogeneous function of degree n, then x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is n u. Now, for the second order, we have a x square del square u by del x square plus 2 x y del square u by del x del y plus y square del square u by del y square is n n minus 1 into u. Now, deduction from our Euler's theorem. This we can see as a modified Euler's theorem also. It means if our u is not directly homogeneous, but z is our homogeneous function of x and y of degree n and z is equal to f of u, then we can write that x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is equal to n and into f upon f dash. <coughs> 